Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMoon. Today we have an interesting algebra problem, Olympiad problem, so we need to find our x and y. Of course we have x cubed minus y cubed equal to 91 and we need to find our x and y. And the first and really good method how to solve it is to write this difference of cubes as a product of two parentheses and in our case it's not hard to do because we know the formula a cube minus b cube you'll have a formula difference of cubes a minus b and times a square plus a b and plus b square so let's use this formula and let's factor it using this formula we will have x minus y and times x square plus xy and plus y square equal to 91 so we just write this difference of cubes using this 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 formula so this is our x x minus y so as you can see the same but we change a b by x and y so what we're going to do in our case what we're going to do next take a look we need to know about the this 91 so we can write this 91 in a, in four cases in four interesting cases the first case we can write this 91 as 1 times 91 e equal to 91 which is which is correct the second case we can write this 91 as minus 1 times minus 91 equal to 91 which is correct as well the third case we can write this this as 7 times 13 equal to 91 and the first case we can write this as minus 7 times minus 13 equal to 91 so we can write this this 91 in the four cases and it's not hard to see that we can write uh, we can solve a system of equation right here because this is first number we can write it in as a, our first parentheses and the second number we can write as a second parentheses so we can find our our answer but moreover take a look right here this expression is always positive because right here we have x square and y square which is always positive and doesn't matter with this x and y we will have this parentheses always positive but this one we don't know about this sign so this x minus y can be plus so plus or or minus so we don't know about this this parentheses and this one is always positive there is a lot of proof to this to this expression this is the popular expression so we can always check this in, in internet so I just swear me this this is always this is always positive so as you can see this is always positive so we just have only two cases so we interested in this one and in this one because this is right here we have minus and right here we have minus but we know that this second parenthesis is not negative one so as a result as you can see we will have the four system of equation so the first one I write this system right here so x minus y equal to 1 and the second x square plus xy and plus y square equal to 91 so let's check this first case so this is our our first case we just we just solve this first case how can you solve it take a look we can write it in another way so x minus y equal to 1 and right here we can write it as this xy we can write it as 3xy minus 2xy what we'll have we will have x square minus 2xy and plus y square and plus 3xy equal to equal to 91 so this equal to xy if we if we add this but right here we will have a formula so this is our our formula this is our formula we will know this formula x minus y square so what we will have as a result we will have interesting case we will have that x minus y equal to 1 and x minus y square plus 3xy equal to 91 so as you can see we write this formula as x minus y square so what we're going to do next take a look x minus y equal to 1 so x minus y equal to 1 so we can plug in this one right here we'll have 1 square 3xy equal to 90 or xy equal to 
30. We will have our system x minus y equal to 91, or no, equal to 1, and xy equal to equal to 30. How can we solve this system of equation? We can write it, we can plug in this x, which is equal to x equal to 1 plus y, we can plug in in a second equation. We will have that y times 1 plus y equal to equal to 30. And moreover, we can solve this quadratic equation. We will have y square plus y minus 30 equal to 0. y first equal to minus 6 and y second equal to equal to 5. This is a classic classic quadratic equation. And if we plug in this y and this y right here in x, we will have our two pairs of, of roots. We will have our first pair minus 5 and minus 6 and the second pair 6 and 5 6 and 6 and 5 so as you can see we find already two roots in this in this first case we find two roots but this is only only first case we have the second case in the second case we just need to swap this these two numbers 1 and 91 because 91 equal to 91 times 1. So if we change it, but right here I write as 1 times 91. So order is 1 and 91, but we can swap these numbers. And right here this will be equal to 91, and this will be equal to 1. I solved, the, I solved this, this equation last, last week, and I swear that this second case does not have this first case, but with 91 and 1 does not have any solution. So I write this right here, so second case which is x minus y equal to 91 and x square plus xy and plus y square equal to 1. So this second case does not have any, any solution. So just trust me, I solved it before. So second case does not have any solution. So we solve this first case, we'll have two pairs. We have the third case, 7 and 13. So let's write this system of equation. So let's solve this third case. Third case. x minus y equal to 7 and x square plus xy and plus y square equal to 13. So solving third case. Second case we reject because this is always positive. First case with the two combinations we just solved. We have two, two pairs of solution and let's solve the third, the third case. How can you solve it? Using the same logic, take a look. If we create square right here, we'll have x minus y square plus 3xy equal to, to 13 in our case and x minus y equal to 7. So if we plug in this 7 instead of this x minus y, using the same logic, we will have, we will have our answer. What we will have? We will have that x minus y x minus y equal to 7 and 3xy equal to minus 36. And if we solve this, we will have our answer. We will have that x minus y equal to 7 and xy equal to minus 12. How can we solve this system? Of course, using the same logic. Just write in that x equal to 1 plus y and plug in this to the second equation. And let's do this in this case. If we solve it, we will have a quadratic equation. We will have y square plus 7y and plus 12 equal to 0. And this is a classic quadratic equation. We will have y third equal to minus 3. And from here, if y third equal to minus 3, our x equal to 4 and y fourth equal to minus 4 when x equal to, when x equal to 3. And as you can see, we find we find our our pairs. This is our <coughs> sorry. This is our third case, and the first case we just need to swap these two numbers. We will have our fourth case that x minus y equal to thirteen and x square plus x y plus y square equal to 7. I saw this case before. This is the same case as 
the second one this case has no any solution so right now we can write our answer so our answer is the next one our answer so we will have these two pairs minus 5 and minus 6 we will have minus 5 minus 6 6 and 5 this is our first pairs of solution solving this one and of course we can write the second pairs the second pairs we write this as 4 minus 3 and of course 3 minus 4 so this is our this is our answer this is our four four pairs of solution first one or we can write it in parentheses this is our four pairs of solution if you still have any question write a question in comment i don't have enough enough space like to to write it step by step but i think you understand me this is the first case we solve this this is the second case but not having any solution third case we solve it and fourth does not have any solution so from here two pairs from the third case two pairs and i hope you understand this solution if you don't write a question in comment write a suggestion in comment thank you for watching and see you in the next videos